Okay, this is solving two-step equations. This is for pre-AP only. This is going to be stop one, pit stop D. Okay. So to solve a two-step equation, it's very similar to a one-step equation. You just have one extra step. You have two steps, okay? So step one is going to be to cut it in half, just like we always do. Step two, before we isolate the variable, we're going to be getting rid of the addition or subtraction. Sorry. So we're going to get rid of the addition or subtraction first. Then we'll use the inverse. I'm sorry. Um, in order to get rid of the addition or subtraction, we're going to use the inverse operation. After we get rid of the addition or subtraction, then we can isolate the variable. And in order to isolate the variable, we're going to use the inverse operation again. And then step four is to always check our solution. So here's an example. Solve 7v minus 3 equals 25. So we're trying to figure out what v is. Okay, we're going to solve it and then we're going to check our solution by plugging it in, plugging in our answer to the original equation, this one right here, and solving it to make sure we did it right. So, like I said, we're going to cut it in half. Then we're going to get rid of the addition or subtraction first. So, right here I have a minus 3, subtracting 3. Well, I need to get rid of that first. So I'm going to use the inverse operation. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides because what I do to one side I have to do to the other. My 3's cancel. I'm left with 7v on this side and 25 plus 3 is 28. Okay, so now I'm down to a one-step equation. 7v equals 28. And we know how to solve this. Cut it in half. Isolate the variable. In order to get v by itself, I'm going to do the inverse operation. So the opposite of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7. What do I do to one side? I'm going to do to the other. My 7's cancel. And then I'm left with v on this side. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. So I have v equals 4. My last step is to check. So I'm going to take my 4 and I'm going to plug it in for my v. So originally I had 7 times v minus 3 equals 25. So now I have 7 times 4 minus 3 equals 25. According to PEMDAS, I multiply first. 7 times 4 is 28, and 28 minus 3 should be 25. 28 minus 3 is 25, and 25 does equal 25, so we did that correctly. Remember guys, you should never get any of these wrong because you can always take your answer and plug it back in to check your work. Remember PEMDAS 2, okay? So let's look at number one. These are our examples we're gonna do. Step one, cut it in half. Step two, let's get rid of the addition or subtraction. So I have adding one. So we're going to do the inverse operation. The opposite of adding 1 is subtracting 1. I need to do that to both sides. My 1's cancel. I'm left with 4y. And 13 minus 1 is 12. Now I'm down to a one-step equation, so I'm going to cut it in half. Opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. What I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. My 4's cancel. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Let's plug it back in just to make sure. So I should have 4 times 3 plus 1 should equal 13. Remember PEMDAS, multiply first. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 should be 13 and 13 does equal 13. Okay, number 2. For number 2, it says 6x plus 2 equals 26. So let's cut it in half. Get rid of our addition or subtraction first. So I have addition plus 2. Let's get rid of that. Opposite of adding 2 is subtracting 2. Okay, my 2's cancel. I'm left with 6x. 26 minus 2 is 24. Cut it in half. 
inverse operation to isolate the variable. So the opposite of multiplying by 6 is dividing. Divide both sides by 6. My 6 is cancel. I'm left with x. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, so let's plug that back in and make sure we did it right. 6 times x, well we said x is 4, so 6 times 4, my, I'm sorry, plus 2 should equal 26. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2, and 26 does equal 26, so we did that right. Okay, number 3. Step 1, cut it in half. Step two, get rid of addition or subtraction. So I have an adding seven, okay? Adding seven over here with the variable. So we're gonna subtract seven from both sides. My sevens cancel. I'm left with five K over here. Now I have negative three minus seven. Well, if we go back to our integer rules, when I have subtraction, I'm going to add a line and change the sign. So now I have negative 3 plus negative 7. My signs are the same, so I'm going to add the numbers together and keep the sign. So 3 plus 7 is 10, and they're both negative, so negative 10. Now I'm going to cut it in half again. Isolate my variable. The inverse operation, the opposite of multiplying by 5, is dividing. So let's do that to both sides. My 5's cancel. Negative 10 divided by positive 5. Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2. And a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So I have k equals negative 2. So let's plug that back in and make sure we did it right. Negative 3 equals 5 times negative 2 plus 7. Well, we're going to multiply first. Positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 7. I'm going to go back to my integer rules because I have addition. So are my signs the same or different? They're different, so I'm going to take the difference between those two numbers. 10 minus 7, or the difference between 10 and 7 is 3. And I have more negatives, so that's a negative 3. So negative 3 equals negative 3. We did it right. Number four, n divided by three plus four equals negative eight. Cut it in half. Here's my variable over here, so I need to get rid of this addition first. The opposite of subtracting four, I'm sorry, adding four is subtracting four, so we're gonna do that to both sides. My fours cancel, so I have n divided by three equals. Well, I have negative eight minus four. So I have a subtraction problem, so I'm going to add a line, change the sign. Okay, now I have an addition problem, so are my signs the same or different? They're the same, so I'm going to add the numbers together and keep the sign. So 8 plus 4 is 12, and I'm going to keep the negative, so negative 12. Now, one step equation, so cut it in half, isolate your variable. The inverse operation, or opposite of dividing by 3, is multiplying by 3. What I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. My 3's cancel. Negative 12 times positive 3 is negative 36. Let's plug it back in, make sure we did it right. Negative 36 divided by 3 plus 4 should equal negative 8. Well, negative 36 divided by positive 3, 36 divided by 3 is 12, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So negative 12 plus 4 should equal negative 8. I have an addition problem, so are my signs the same or different? They're different. So I'm going to take the difference between the two numbers. The difference between 12 and 4 is 8. And I have more negatives than I do positives. So negative 8 equals negative 8. I did that right. Number 11, I'm sorry, number 5. 11 plus 7 ninths times m equals 4. Okay, step 1, cut it in half. 
here's my variable. I need to make this po or positive 11 go away. So the opposite of at our positive 11, let's say positive 11, okay, is subtracting 11. What I do to one side, I'm gonna do to the other. My 11's cancel. I'm left with 7 ninths times m equals, I have 4 minus 11. So subtraction problem, add a line, change the sign. So now I have 4 plus negative 11. My signs are different, so I'm going to take the difference. The difference between 4 and 11 is 7. And I have more negatives, so negative 7. Cut it in half. The inverse or opposite operation of multiplying by 7 ninths is dividing by 7 ninths. Okay, so my 7 ninths cancel. I'm left with m. And I'm going to be dividing fractions, so I need to put a 1 under my 7. And remember with dividing fractions, it's keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. So that becomes negative 7 over 1. I keep, I, so we don't get confused. I change, and then I flip 7 ninths. That becomes 9 sevenths. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Negative 7 times positive 9 is negative 63. 1 times 7 is 7. Negative 63 divided by 7 is negative 9. So I'm saying that m equals negative 9. Let's plug it back in and make sure. I'm going to have to write kind of small. I'm sorry. Okay, so I have 11 plus 7, not, 7 ninths times negative 9 over 1. I'm just going to go ahead and write negative 9 as a fraction. Should equal 4. All right. So I have 11 plus 7 times negative 9 is negative 63, and 9 times 1 is 9. That should equal 4. Well, negative 63 divided by positive 9 is negative 7. So now I have 11 plus negative 7. My signs are different, so I'm going to take the difference between the two numbers. The difference between 11 and 7 is 4. And I have more positives than I do negative, so positive 4 should equal positive 4, and it does. So we did that right. Okay, number 6. Negative 5 equals negative 5 times t minus 5. So let's cut it in half. Here's my variable over here, so I'm going to make this subtracting 5 go away. Opposite of subtracting 5 is adding 5. What I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. My 5's cancel. Negative 5 plus 5. Okay, so I have an addition problem. My signs are different, so I'm going to take the difference. Well, the difference between 5 and 5 is 0. Okay, so 0 equals negative 5 times t. Cut it in half. Isolate the variable. Opposite of multiplying by negative 5 is dividing. Okay, what I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. My negative 5's cancel. 0 divided by negative 5 is 0. So t should equal 0. Let's plug it back in and make sure. Negative 5 should equal negative 5 times 0 minus 5. Okay, so negative 5 equals... Well, negative 5 times 0 is 0, minus 5. Well, if I have 0 and I take away 5, I'm at negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 equals negative 5. Check. Number 7. 30 equals 12 times z minus 18. Cut it in half. Okay, here's my variable. So the opposite of subtracting 18 is adding 18. My 18's cancel. 30 plus 18 is 48, and that should equal 12z, because that's what I have left on this side. Okay, cut it in half. 
opposite, isolate the variables, so the opposite of multiplying by 12 is dividing by 12. 48 divided by 12 is 4, so z should equal 4. Plug it back in. 30 equals 12 times 4 minus 18. 12 times 4 is 48. And 48 minus 18 is 30. So I did that one right. Number 8, negative 9 times r plus 12 should equal negative 24. We're going to cut it in half. Here's my variable, so let's make this addition go away. Minus 12, minus 12, cancels out. I'm left with negative 9 times r, and then negative 24 minus 12. Okay, negative 24 minus 12. I need to add a line, change the sign. So now I have negative 24 plus negative 12. My signs are the same, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. 24 plus 12 is 26, and I'm going to keep the negative. It's 36. I'm looking at this, I'm like, what did I do wrong? 24 plus 12 is 36. I'm sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to isolate my variable. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 9 is dividing by negative 9. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. My 9's cancel. I'm left with r. Negative 36 divided by negative 9. That would be a positive 4. So r should equal 4. So let's plug it back in. Negative 9 times 4 plus 12 should equal negative 24. Negative 9 times positive 4 is negative 36 plus positive 12 should equal negative 24. My signs are different, so I'm going to take the difference between the two numbers. That would be 24. And I have more negatives than I do positives, so negative 24 equals negative 24. We did it right. And last one. P divided by 5 minus 15 should equal 5. So here's my variable. I'm going to get rid of my subtraction first. So the inverse operation would be of subtracting 15 would be adding 15. Do that to both sides. My 15s cancel. P divided by 5 should equal 20, because 5 plus 15 is 20. Cut it in half. Isolate the variable. Opposite of dividing by 5 is multiplying by 5. Do that to both sides. My 5s cancel. P equals 100. 20 times 5 is 100. So let's plug it back in. 100 divided by 5 minus 15 should equal 5. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Minus 15 should equal 5. 20 minus 15 is 5, and that does equal 5, so we did it right. So these are your notes for solving two-step equations.